Schedule prediction season keeps on rolling. And we're going to do a little roll tide here. We talk about Alabama and what we potentially could see them finishing at with a win loss record in 2023. I think we got to start here with Alabama. We just need to be careful with the context around Alabama because context, it's kind of like salt in my mind. Like, you always need some context. But too much context, if you read too deeply into the context, I think that can sometimes do more harm than good. And when I look at Alabama, the correct context, I think, that the facts, if you will, you got the greatest coach of all time in Nick Saban, and you have one of the most talented rosters in the entire country. Haven't recruited outside the top two with everybody that's on campus right now. From 2019 forward, they have not recruited a class that's below the top two level in the on three industry team recruiting rankings. Okay, so a lot of talent in Tuscaloosa. A lot of pieces on that roster to do some good things. Now, the, the context that's dangerous is it's new quarterback, it's new OCs, it's new DC. They haven't made a national championship in the last two years. Or excuse me, they, excuse me, they have not won the national title in the last two years. They made the national title a year ago. And then they get it done. So everyone's saying the sky is falling in Tuscaloosa. But like I said, the facts are still the facts. Just because we don't know without a shadow of a doubt some of the things that we're going to need to see in, in the fall, like, just because there's a lot of unproven, doesn't necessarily mean in Alabama that it's going to be bad. And we've talked about that before on this show. Unproven, a lot of places, is a little bit of a cause for concern. I don't know if that's the same approach you should take when you assess Alabama. So let's take a look at the schedule here. Got Texas. That'll be a really good test early. You got Ole Miss at home. You got Tennessee at home. You got LSU at home. Every game that you would have circled at this point in time as a test or, hey, make sure we really watch that game. You get them at the crib. You get them at the crib. So I'll I'll say I think several possible slip-ups are on this schedule. I mean, at Kentucky, who knows? Um, you know, Ole Miss and Lane Kiffin, you never know with them. Ten Texas is early in the year. Tennessee, do they recreate some magic? Like, there's a lot of slip-ups that are, that are possible. If you're looking at this roster, excuse me, not roster, at this schedule, you could talk yourself into 9-3. and three. Heck, you could talk yourself into 10-2 and two again. The thing with Alabama for me is I've just seen this movie too many times. I've seen this movie too many times. Everybody says Nick Saban, the game's passed him by. Alabama's done for. They've fallen off a cliff. It's like they were in the national title game a year ago. They only lost two games. They were two plays away from being undefeated. Yeah, but J.D., they were also two other plays away from being 8-4. and four. Like, all right, I hear that, but let's not act like Alabama is just somewhere in the stratosphere and they've lost their way. I've seen this movie too many times. The movie, you ask? Well, 2008, embarrassing loss to Utah. 2009, national title. 2014, they lose to Ohio State in the playoff, and everyone says, okay, that's what it is, the playoff. That is the kryptonite for Nick Saban. 2015, national title. 2019, 11-2. They lost two games? Are you kidding me? Whoa, Nick Saban. The game has passed him by. Finally, 2020 national title. So, I'm going to be a little bit slow to jump on the bandwagon that Alabama is somehow too far gone or they've lost their way or any of that. That just, to me, feels like a dangerous game to play. And so for our prediction for Alabama, for the record we're going to predict for them, going undefeated feels a little bit rich to predict in June. But again, I look at the schedule and I think 11-1 and one is where I would fall on the tide today. So be careful of context. Context is good, but too much of it it's going to lead you astray. We like the Tide to finish 11-1 and in the 2023 season. Alabama, man, they're a team now that you got to watch for every single year. As long as Nick Saban's the coach there, like, I will never just overlook Alabama and say, oh, whatever. Say, oh, whatever, Bama's Bama, whatever. We're not going to worry about them. That's never going to be the case with them as long as Nick Saban's there. Hey, y'all, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.